Hello, I am Ajita, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how you can grant an AWS identity and access management user access to a specific folder of your Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket. Let's get started. If your IAM user and S3 bucket are present in the same AWS account, then you can grant the user access to a specific bucket folder using an IAM policy. You can add the IAM policy to individual IAM users or you can attach the IAM policy to an IAM role that multiple users can switch to. If the IAM identity, user or role and the S3 bucket belong to different AWS accounts, then you must grant access on both the IAM policy and the bucket policy. In the following example, we'll discuss the policy regarding how you can allow a user to download objects from a folder using the Amazon S3 console. Go to the IAM console and select policies from the left panel. Here choose create policy. Choose JSON where you can add the policy. The allow statement one allows the user to list the buckets that belong to their AWS account the user needs this permission to be able to navigate to the bucket using the console. The allow statement 2a allows the user to list the folders within the bucket, which the user needs to be able to navigate to the folder using the console. The statement also allows the user to search on the prefix media using the console. Allow statement 3 allows the user to list the contents within the folder media. Allow statement 4a allows the user to download objects, S3 get object from the folder media. You can also add additional permissions to this user like S3 put object for uploading objects to this folder. In this policy, replace the doc example bucket with your bucket name and the prefix media with the folder that you want to grant access for. Choose next. Provide a name and description to this policy and choose create policy. After the policy is created, you can attach it to any IAM user or role. For example, I'll be attaching this policy to an IAM user. To do so, open the IAM user. On the permissions tab, choose add permissions. And then select attach existing policies directly. Under the policies, search and select the policy that we created previously. Choose next and then choose add permissions. Now let's see what the user with the above permission will see when they navigate to the bucket using the S3 console. Now the second statement of the policy allows me to view the folders so I can navigate to the media folder. It also allows me to search for the media folder in the search bar. The third statement of the policy allows me to view the objects inside the media folder. Finally, the fourth statement of the policy will allow me to download the files present in this folder. The previous policy was for accessing the S3 bucket using the AWS Management Console. For another example, we'll change the IAM policy to allow the user to download and upload objects to the folder using either the console or programmatic methods such as the AWS command line interface or the Amazon S3 API. As you can see, I've already created a user with this policy. The differences from the previous IAM policy are Allow statement 2B includes S3 delimiter which specifies the forward slash character as the delimiter for folders within the path to an object. It's a best practice to specify the delimiter if the user makes requests using the AWS CLI or the Amazon S3 API. Allow statement 4B allows the user to download S3 get object and upload S3 put object objects to the folder in the bucket. Now we'll access the folder media in my bucket programmatically using AWS CLI. I have already configured the AWS CLI with the credentials of the user. Let's try to list the media folder inside my bucket. 
As you can see, I can list the folder contents. Now let's try to upload an object to the media folder. As you can see, the object was uploaded successfully. Similarly, you can download the objects as well. Now let's try to list the contents of a folder that I do not have access to. When I do this, I get an access denied error message. This is expected because I do not have access to that folder. So now you know how to give users access to a specific folder of your S3 bucket. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.